Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Popkit here, giving you a six samurai deck build for Thoughts of Nerds. And um uh, I was gonna I'm just gonna jump right into it and just show you my camera. Um Alright, so first we got three Kagamusha, I mean Kagekis. So then could bring out uh, three Kagamushas and three elders of the six. Then I got three Kizons. And just so I can have all that summon power right there. All that special summon. Um, two Grandmasters. And three Great Shoguns. A lot of times people don't like Great Shogun. I don't understand why. Most people would run either one or just not even any. But uh, I don't understand why. I like Great Shogun. Like, if I have two six samurais, you can special summon him. And, you know. And, like, I, I don't understand. Like, that's a good, that's a good, you know. So, and... Also, you only your opponent can only use one spell of trap kind of really limits what they could do. Plus, if I have a uh, she end on the field, then I could just negate that one card that they use. All right, um, those are my my triples and those are all my triples that I have. And then um, now it's time for my singles. Uh, I have one Ishi, uh, the Shans counselor. One Zanji. Love Zanji just because he could, he's pretty much like a kamikaze guy. Unless I boost him up higher, and then, then he's, you know, even if it's like the same attack or higher, he's just gonna kamikaze it and whatever. I got Iru, and then got one hand, and one Kamun, and then one Yaichi, which, uh, pretty much these two is just a get rid of backfield. Pretty good, you know, set cards face up. And, <clears throat> alright, that, that's it for the monsters. Uh, now I'm going to bring it in for the magics. Got the staple for every six samurai deck, gateway. Uh, you pretty much have to have a gateway. Unfortunately, it's limited to one. Um, I'm, I'm actually, no, I'm, it's actually pretty good this one. If, if it was two or more, it would just, this deck would just be too OP, you know, overpowered. Like, like you would just, you're going to swarm first turn, swarm second turn. You know, and like, there's no way for them to just get past this. So this is the card that every person fears, that every opponent fears when they're facing six hands. That if they draw this first turn, they pretty much, you know, they can swarm first turn and then just do OTK, right? Um, <coughs> got three smoke signals. Uh, good for bringing out Kagamusha and Kageki, or any other six M I. Uh, two dojos, which is it's similar to um. um it's similar to uh, Gateway, but uh, what it does is uh, you put a counter in front of it. You know, for every counter, you for every counter equals a level to the great to special summon that level monster. I have two United. These are your pots of greed. Um, a special samurai to gain the counter, two counters to great to draw two, which you'll need drop. You'll need that draw power, so I just had to add two. Two warrior returning alive just in case they, they blow up my guy. I can bring him back to my hand and special him. Reinforcement for, you know, I could bring back, I could take out one of my lower ones or uh, I could bring out, um, what's his name? Um, Zan Kaizen. Bring out Kaizen. One A Force. This boosts up everybody. This boosts up all your warriors by uh, 200. Doesn't seem like much, but it's for every other warrior or spellcaster on the field. If I have four warriors, they each gain 200 for every warrior on the field. So, two, four, six, eight. They each gain 800 attack, which is pretty awesome. And it just it, it makes it just all the better. One impact. Two and three, I feel, are way too much. One is just okay, because uh, get all get all my three guys out, you know. Uh, you know, unless they're like, unless they're like bottomless or... Uh, or something like that, then you know, or uh, or if they saw them, you know, but uh, if they don't, I could I could use this and just destroy something that's you know getting in my way right now. Uh, staple, duality, MST, dark hole, monster born, heavy storm, pretty, you know, speaks for itself why you would put those in your deck. Then I got two Makatamas. This card is great just for just for countering any any effect they have, destroying my guy or any other card I have on the field. It doesn't just work for six samurai monsters. 
It's just a if it if it activated a card that destroys a card on my field while I control six samurai, I can negate it. So if I have my fields, if I have a field spell out, or if I have a, a, a you know magic trap card on the field, uh, I can still negate it as long as I have a six sam on the field. You know, so and uh, best is a quick play trap. So you know they can't negate it unless they have like song or something. Um, double sword technique just so then I could bring back, uh, let's say. Um, I could bring back my lower levels and then I could just overlay or I could synchro for them. And that's pretty much the only reason I have this and I don't have that one. Swift Strike Armor, just in case, just because it's helping me sometimes, not a lot. So, uh, Phoenix Chain, Self Explanatory, Call, Torrential, uh, Cylinders, and then two Draining Shields. I have those just cause uh, I want to deal. I want to deal more damage either to them or if 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 I have nothing and I, I you know my left one's getting low, I want to I want to gain that you know and then I don't most of the time you're not gonna see someone you know, you know like negate this with like solemn or anything because like there's no point in that you know unless it's gonna game shot them like with a cylinder, but uh, for real these are just good cause you know everyone's gonna constantly try to attack for game. So these will just, you know, pretty much block that. And especially if I have, like, if I have uh, my um, buffed up dude on the field and he wants to try to take him out, just, you know, negate that. Alright, <clears throat> so those are for the monsters, magic, and traps. Now for the extra deck. Of course, I have Legendary Six Samurai Shien. It's my number one synchro. I got Egg Saber Wayne. Just because, you know, he's pretty good and he's a warrior type too, so I can synchro easily for the um, same way I do with uh, Shien. Kage uh, Kageki, K Kagamusha, bring him out. Same thing for Scared Warrior, Scarred Warrior. Um, we got Gaia, just in case I, I have a, f a four, a level four, and then I got Kagamusha. And, you know, just, just for the attack because it's over 26 and... Uh, she end is at 25, so just to have that little one up. Uh, Colossal Fighter, which is my my big hitter right here, you know. Um, and plus, uh, for he gains a uh, hundred attack for every warrior in my graveyard. Decks full of warrior monster, so if I get him later on the game, you know, over 3k is gonna be pretty awesome. I just hope they don't ban bomb us. That, that's gonna suck. All right, uh, Xyz number six one, Valkosaurus. Him, I can only bring out if I have like Shien and uh, Great Shogun on the field because, um, because like they're both level sixes. Um, I mean, my bad, level fives. They're both level fives. I mean, huh, I keep messing it up. Uh, sh not Great Shogun, um, Grandmaster, yeah. I had Grandmaster on the field and uh, uh, Shien. The, the synchro and just a uh, XZ for vocal source just to just to have that card you know pretty good card utopia and we got she N here the XZ one and he's pretty good another bow he boosts up a six and right to 2008 k so it's not that bad you know don't use him a lot but you know if I'm in a situation where I really need to I, I will use him but then most of the time, uh, if I'm going to overlay, it's going to probably be Utopia, you know. Um, Leviathan. Um, pretty good. Zen Mains, staple. And then, lastly, Giga Brilliance. This card is what makes the difference between a close game and an OTK. Most of the time with this deck, I can bring my opponent down in the hundreds within my first turn or second turn, but then I'm like, in the hundreds. This card is what's going to make that difference from bring him down to that much and then just OTKing because, uh, you know, he gives them a 300 attack boost, so with that, that will make it an OTK, and that's the entire point of having him in there, that's the entire plan. I could, I could have Great Shogun. I could have a uh, Grandmaster and the t uh, Synchro Sheet and on the field, you know, two f and, uh, and that's 246 right there. And then, um, uh, so like, uh, with this, it's just going to make it even 
be stronger. Plus, I have the, the um, this um, a one spell card that boosts their attack. Uh, I don't draw it a lot just because I, I have it at one. But you know, a force. Uh, but I, I don't draw it a lot just because I have it at one. But uh, I don't want to move it up anymore because I want to. I kind of want. I like the deck size that I have right now. I don't want to increase it by anymore. It's already over 40. I know that. Means. I don't know exactly how much it's over, but I know it's over 40. So, you know. Alright, um. That is my Six Samurai deck build. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's done me pretty good. I have OTK'd with it. Uh, plenty of times in. Um, beat, beat Black Wings. Beat, um. Beaten Dark Worlds a couple times. Not have not beaten Fire Fist yet with these. Um, pretty much it's good. Pretty much you know, it just it's pretty good. Pretty much in most decks, but you know. So uh, yeah, that's my build. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, this is a uh, been Popkit for Thoughts of Nerds. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.